security uh, through climate change adaptation and learning project LCAP. Yes, uh, we we as uh, workers in Paris and for and Paris for that matter have been working uh, for three years now, uh, implementing activities under the LCAP project. The project seeks to or it sought to increase the resilience of uh, vulnerable women and men farmers to the impacts of climate change. Basically, that was what we sought to, uh, to work and to achieve. If the adaptive capacities of these communities are not built, it undermines all other developmental efforts that one may put in place to address these needs. So, we've been implementing this project, this project in four districts, East Mampusi District, Garut Mpani District, Nandom District, Nadroli District, in the, in the three northern regions of Ghana. Climate change is now recognized as a mainstream development issue as the negative impacts of climate change on the world's poorest communities become clearer, strategies to adapt to the changing climatic conditions are increasingly being incorporated into development policy and practice. A body of evidence is accumulating on the social impacts of climate change. There is a growing consensus that climate change is likely to have differential impact on men and women according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, farmers who depend on rain-fed agriculture are more vulnerable to climate change. IPCC says farmers' ability to adapt to climate change is likely to be affected by consistent changes in rainfall patterns and increased health risks as well as climate-induced migration. Building farmers' resilience is therefore the surest way to reduce their vulnerabilities to climate change. To address these issues, a number of social protection measures that target poverty, food insecurity, and livelihood vulnerability should be considered relevant. Adaptation is a key feature of sustainable livelihood given the climatic uncertainties. With climate change adding an additional challenge to livelihoods, innovations and economic changes are introducing effective new adaptation elements that should be promoted alongside traditional approaches. These new innovative approaches, which include knowledge, skills and confidence to manage, adapt and use resources, should enable communities to avoid depleting their economic capital to finance their responses to climate change shocks and stresses. To enable communities to effectively adapt the impact of climate change to lessen their vulnerability, development partners are promoting adaptation strategies and are working closely with communities vulnerable to climate change to design and implement adaptation strategies. Partners in rural Empowerment and Development, PARID, is one such development organization that has successfully implemented an innovative climate change adaptation strategy. PARID, with the support from Oxfam, has implemented a project known as Enhancing Livelihood Security through Climate Change Adaptation Learning Project, LCAP, in the East Mampusi district of the northern region of Ghana. The project implemented in four communities, namely Yapala, Sumni Boma, Jarigitinga, and Zojilgo, basically address climate change impact on livelihoods through various interventions, including dry season gardening, bushfire controlling, energy conservation, village savings, and loans associations, also known as community banking, among other things. The lead project officer of PARID, Moses Tampuri, explained more about LCAP and its livelihood interventions. And so for the past three years, we have been working around three main, obje four main objective areas. One objective area is to strengthen the livelihoods and food security uh, of 750 smallholder farmers. 
in the, in the four committees in which we work. Uh, the second uh, objective was, uh, was to replenish the fast depleting uh, natural resource base upon which people's livelihoods depend. Uh, yet uh, a third objective was to raise awareness uh, about uh, climate change adaptation knowledge among 750 small worker farms. And uh, the last ob objective, uh, not, but not the least one, was to increase, uh, to work towards increased investment for smallholder farmers to uh, adaptation, climate change adaptation. Uh, Currently, the project is working in four communities. We have uh, Jerigatinga as one of the communities, Yapala, Sumnuboma, and uh, Zojilgo. The project has uh, four main thematic areas. And one of the areas happened to be the food security aspect. The Elka project, currently, as it is in the Yapala community, we have had a lot of successes in that project. First of all, I want to talk about the dry season gardening. The dry season gardening has impacted much in it, in, into the people of Yapala. The Elka project also gives ruminants to its beneficiaries, where we do, we do give the, 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 what we call the beneficiaries, and at the point in time, say two years, three years, when we come to see that the details, the first one they give, that is, we take one from, we take one from the, uh, the already benefited women and give it out to the next one. We have implemented activities under each of these four broad objective areas to try to work towards the main goal of the uh, project, which I said initially was to increase resilience of uh, smallholder farmers to the impacts of climate change. All this we have done with support from Oxfam in Ghana. Uh, they are the main the donors of the project for the entire period uh, that we have been implementing it. And so under each of these uh, broad uh, objective areas, I think we, we, we have met our Cause expectations. If you, if you put the numbers together, uh, under the uh, first objective, which is uh, to strengthen the levels uh, uh, food security uh, of small 750 smallholder farmers, we have chopped a lot of success there because currently, under the uh, dry season gardening alone, we 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 have we have been able to facilitate uh, community members to take up uh, the dry season gardening as a main livelihood activity, which is through which they are earning a lot of income and even uh, food. So if you take that one alone, we have uh, currently about 170 gardeners in all the four countries put together, uh, 150 uh, females and uh, uh, 20 men uh, doing dry season gardening. If you take the VSLA, for instance, uh, the, we have about 12 VSLA groups. And uh, the numbers put together, we have uh, 233 members uh, of the VSA groups. Uh, if you take uh, the, the lobby groups, which are uh, sort of representing the voices of the communities in terms of the last objective, we have up to 40 lobby groups. Uh, if you take, uh, for instance, uh, the entire community put together, all the four communities put together, uh, it comes up to a total of 3,238 3, people uh, per, per the 2013 projections. So if you put these numbers together, we have uh, overshot the 750 small Talk about the uh, fire squads and so many other uh, beneficiaries of the virus. If you take the livestock support to women alone, uh, there are over 200 women who have received the livestock support. So if you put all this together, we are running over into 2,000 for the direct beneficiaries of the various uh, support that we have given to. And so uh, the successes have been great. Uh, people are now aware uh, of the impacts of climate change and taking steps, strategizing to see how they could uh, widen the, 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 uh, 
pay all options to other sources of livelihoods instead of depending solely on the uh, food crop production, which is uh, being affected greatly by the impacts of climate change. Thank the community members. But first of all, I will thank the chief and the elders in the community for the massive support they have given to the Elka project, the massive support they have given to the Oxfam project, the massive support they have given to themselves, the support they have given to other communities towards the implementation, the starting of the implementation of this activity to date. We are happy since the starting of this project, especially the way the community members are you know, responding, they are responding to the activities of the project. All the interventions has been successful, if I will see, especially with regards to the boost fires, control and prevention. They are doing well, especially in this community, they are doing well in terms of you know, bringing the boost fire under control. They have done well by you know, organizing themselves, always coming together, be it in the night, be it day time, they come, when there is a boost fire, they come out, they make sure they go and put it under control. That is why if you go out and you look over there at the hills, you will see that we still have the grasses, the trees, the economic trees that used to be burned during the dry season and still remain intact in the community. And coming back to the, our lobby groups, we have had a lobby group, a very vibrant lobby group that has done so well in the development of the community. They have been able to champion the course of trying to reduce a lot of uh, social activities. What goes into that, especially one just mentioned, they are able, they were, they are able to bring down the way they used to go into their you know, social activities by reducing the food, the, the number of food they prepare in a day from five times to two times, which is very important towards reducing the hunger gap. At the same time, looking at the dry season gardening that the community has taken so serious, they have been able to take it up and they are now enjoying out of that. So we want to thank the chief, thank the community members, thank the, the elders who are cooperating with the chief and all those leaders, the leaders of the project who are doing well in the community and who will encourage them to do more even after the you know, the implementation of the project, even when we leave, we still request that the chief and the elders, the community people, try to ensure that they do not stop what we have done in this community. We do not leave and the project leave, but we leave and the project still remains in the community sustainably. The beneficiaries of LCAP who were empowered to adapt to the impact of climate change through dry season gardening, bushfire control, livestock rearing and energy conservation gave their impressions about the project. Maninya Imuru Usman can ye ye palana to Tumama and one pili the Yuma and Ashimo. Nala little bamsum than chanting and insim ka Tumma and Afia than chanting to keep to put it at here. Kashunti. Yara, Sisa, and Sunti Katiani, the Sikh of Yara, in Chan Tishiri, Tamdema, a year composed in China, back the Garidema, Bunsi, Basunti, and Aturukuruma, and Sultan Niji, and Tetemasin, so Puna Pam Kabatati, Katinya Bamal and Tumuka, Mama Abuna, Amal Alfan Pam, Dama Ikosi, Tim Pila, Mama Hanazuna, the PC, Sukuru, Fis, Yarabla Museti. The one to the same Katamata Mazai, the Katamana Gariwani, the Zugu Tepia Pam Kapusuru, the Kamsiba Banshi, the Tunum Wusati, Tia Dorso Sisi, Katumama Buki, Halebe Batisuna, Katinia Nusi Ban and Tonsara, Kachan Tuni. Zang a garima, some be a garima, and to know how Wahala says, and I did a pump on I to an annual Wahala. Pam Pam Wak. To my mamma, one tena. I saw my tip pump, El Cup, Bantana, Basuma tip pump, the board of Banapo, the Tessani, Atamban Tumna, 
na kuchanta bubu ba soka chati tumama apuni tumama asunga te pam dama wahala dai bena te bisi sukuru na tumama nga ba dre nyangwa ka ti changa kaya yo se ba ni changa te saam mkuna ka se ba changa si doro na ama pam pam wa ban chana be te saan ka tamban tumna ma so sun bena pam ka rasunga nti ka tiba nyangwa na nangra basa basa bi wa sukuru ai in tonya lafu gari ma puni untu ku chang sukuru so ban chana ma basu ngat pam ban tati bon ko barbu ka gari tuma ko ko ka basina tati basia an tati agade ya dama ka takwa ka asu ngati bungotoro ko dama nigi basu ngati azani dan su gusta fi aba pam ka puhur ba dan su gusta puhur pare no tun ban ku el cap ban ku chana an su ngursati la ba han leti la ba ma ta puhur ba pam ma min na tu ya ku da ma nya su mbo ma ka nya ata adaka la kana to tam tire su adaka wa nya ka amfani siya dan nya ka amfani siya ka kan nan ba su ma sam dan ku san ka itan ziya tare ka so ki siya tare ba zin tare kurka amma tan nya adaka wa tan ngina na tan malal la an la an Mal minti nang bara tu ya tu amuk sa subu ama asiara kani ka afa siya mahal mang bana data mang dua tak bana data pi ka dulu kia nya manda kia nya la mang gasia ka tu zu ada ka wana na kam piang legeri nkia nga niang bang ma nang bisi nda kia nga asiri tika ka sung ma man ziya wa tala mal ya tu amuk isi esi sukur pisi ya tu amin ku kia nang bulgi tare la ah ya tu aire pa isi nya na siem nya ka ama ada ko nwa nwa dia ne ya to ase ko kenan bulge nwa ke yina ya abiki bikata ko mari ka ko ko nya kan na kunnun ta suh ma san ta nwa nya pita mi gira kan yusu membo ma number 1 community na to poi ka ada ka bisu ra kane drama real muksa dira yi tunan nan na kala adishiya kenan ke i kan ya zon pasiri inin kyangan vi igbenan ta nirba in yal i yal mukur nwa nya sem Kabak punya ngan yuar si, ama ada kabisuan wan ceno, tenyala nembuk siwa banyak nai sentera, bakui kamu zat sentera ni, so bimbera karenya la u insuran sempi, biar nama ya ada yang nantu kubur nu unia ubi bangu yang nantu yesi biar nia, kang wana tebo piang na, ia dia nong kui bikata kalan de, mboka kata labs endule biar, tepu parba, debet tepa kub sahanai, kibur fet laza ne ida. Kara patalasi ina tuonya na angiare kaba piangi ina tuonya nda basipu. Nemna tu idiriso. Mbira shurumba number one. Mbira kuruani nina gari. Gari tu mata nina ama. Mami tena biya yini tena mami ai gari tu busa katra ya busa sinkur gari tu. Tena ba kur gari. Tama yu gari busa zuguni. Mami tena sukurwa na inya afasi ma nisa kuto mbuiwa. Kuomara bahari yuari, kapa ofisi tenchi hanzan tukpa na gari duma, mana kia yuma, mama kia yuma angwa bangi gari mama alafani. Mere ni abio iki anjia shauye lenye tehla ba, kato abura abura, ama nje kuni abio, mbia kurugani, gani ni gari mama alafani. Ana nga, kwa jina, bunne, kuyule, niara, ba wole. Nisusisi <laughs> Kabat tu tu bungkua baru, kata guna, eh tu guna bungkua baru, mana kabat tu arsi kepam domi babi nama nyi abu kata terniru ba, anya posu ko, kata yipi, anzan kia kulo gana, 
and love the garib de mafuni, and sang Abnaka at the Anfani. And Lavana, Cabatti, Batma Bunga, Kanyawa made dancey, Mansanya, Erica Anfani, and Lavana Cabatta to Fondma. A bay booty office, Banton Cool, Mungwebo, Nufuso, Nanton Cool, or phone man, Kakachang, Azania, Anfani, and to tea, Erica Petmani. You are set up, and yes, I do. Pare tu ama pe tu mana de pe pa baranya ng tu mabua kanya ng go habuma habuma baranya ng do akabise kurofisi yala damu go ma kanya sen kosa ngi se kurofisi ma kabara kparan kabara ngi sen tu so kanya sen tu so misi sandu ngi re sun bama number one na aluka pedema nda ziteng kanya mba dan so mebu kato pana kana afana tu tu pam. The matter I'm not going to dance. And here, Dully, down what? Say to Kelly, be good to Dully, do good to Dully. I'm a cup of dance, Oma. Dapa, you could change your seal and be the one as I will. And you go, I said, I'm blind, you go. And you could change Kulga, Daddy, Munchanga, Dak, I want to look my eye. I can meet you back, be my own one. No book and last, I like you, Kuma, you Kuma. To you, my long one, boom, but I like so you like a young and tea boom and tea. Was I to come at young and peasy? You could mad that, Paramount. I am finding my feeling to the pump. Madame Lillian Kutaro is the advocacy officer of Oxfam. And Oxfam in Ghana works in some under some uh, work with some thematic areas. We work in the livelihood and food security sector under the agriculture and livelihood program one of the projects we are implementing is the enhancing livelihood security through climate change adaptation project this project is a project that aims at building the capacity of rural farmers smallholder farmers to adapt their livelihood um, activities to the changing climate and its effects this project became necessary after some consultations we had with um, communities, with um, implementing partners, and then some other agencies that we have worked with in the, few, in, the in the past, it made us realize that though all developmental um, projects sought to address the needs of these um, communities, there was the need to tackle the effects of climate adaptation on the livelihoods of these smallholder farmers. If the adaptative capacities of these communities are not built, it undermines all other developmental efforts that one may put in place to address these needs. So we've been implementing this project, this project in four districts, East Mampuri District, Gary Tumpani District, Nandong District, Nadroli district in the in the three northern regions of Ghana, and the project in, under the project we we work through partners, other uh, local NGOs who are based in those areas, to to as a way of um, working with people who are closely in touch with these people and also ensuring that whatever gains that are made, the sustainability of them are ensured even now and in, in, into the in future. Under the agriculture and livelihood program, one of the projects we are implementing is the enhancing livelihood security through climate change adaptation project. So with PARIT, I should say under the LCAP we have chalked successes in the area of the village savings and loan scheme, in the area of bushfires control, in the area of improved, um, improved farming technologies, and then improving their livelihood activities. Dry season gardening. And another way of protecting the vegetation, as I indicated, was that of reducing the amount of fuel wood that is used in, in, in households. So in addressing this, we, the, the project initiated the energy saving, conserving stove, where these community uh, women are improving on the local uh, system, the indigenous way of creating their stoves. And this has been very successful as 
the women have taken it up and has even crossed other regions to support built women assets and to assist them with um, inputs for their livelihood activities as a, and as a way of also diversifying their livelihood activities. One area the project has worked in is that of providing um, some inputs. For example, we provide donkey and cats to the women to subuse to support their fellow women to co uh, cut uh, farm produce from the farms as a way of reducing reducing post-harvest losses and also reducing the workload on these women. They, they support other, their fellow women with this and then the community with this cat, a donkey and cat and then they also generate some income for it to maintain the cat and then also to support their families. Another way is that of supporting the women with a small women. So here we've provided them with goods and these goods one woman who the first beneficiaries they keep it when it litters they pass it on in terms of sustainability uh, most of the things that we have we have worked on under the aircraft project uh, have been done with the involvement of other district stakeholders especially the district assembly uh, minister of food and agriculture nadmo uh, and the uh, ghana uh, health service uh, in cases where health issues came up and if you look at other projects, other initiatives like uh, the VSLA, the Village Loans and Savings, uh, uh, the Village Savings and Loans Association, if you look at that, communities are already able to pull resources together and they are managing their uh, their their uh, savings in those boxes. And Pari will continue to work in those communities, whether El Cap is still there or not. Pari will continue to visit those and give them backstop and support them to still continue with their savings and their, their mobilization and their loans, uh, loans that they give out to themselves. And so uh, we have also brought in the chiefs in terms of bushfire uh, control and all that we have brought in. This assembly is also part of it. Uh, the communities have got the bushfire squads. All these structures that we have put in place are to enable us to continue doing the good things that LCAP has left behind. In all, LCAP has chalked successes in the area of VSLA, energy conservation, bushfire management, improved livelihoods and energy conservation throughout the project area.